Welcome, guys. Welcome to the sun. and to those viewing uh, online on buffalowildwingsbowl.org. We invite you to visit that throughout the week for updated information. Uh, media, please allow us to get a microphone to you because of our uh, live streaming when we get to the question and answers. I remind you the Media Center opens on Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. Uh, over at Camelback Inn. And for the cameraman, I remind you to please initiate uh, frequency coordination, and you can do that online. With that, I'd like to bring Chairman of the Board, Steve Whiteman, here to welcome the Spartans. On behalf of the uh, staff and volunteers of the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl, it's a sincere pleasure to uh, welcome the Michigan State uh, Spartans to the Valley of the Sun to play in our game, uh, the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl game, this Saturday at Sun Devil St uh, Stadium in Tempe. It's, uh, this is the first trip that uh, the Spartans have made for a bowl game to Arizona. So we're thrilled to have you uh, be with us. Couple interesting uh, facts. The Spartans have won 27 Big Ten games since 2008. This is the most of any Big Ten team. They have more wins since 2008 than any other team within the Big Ten. <laughs> Coach Mark D'Antonio has led the Spartans to six consecutive bowl games. They won last year over Georgia in the Outback Bowl, but this is a record, six straight bowl games. Uh, for the Michigan State Spartans, all under Mark D'Antonio. Uh, he's is in his sixth season at uh, East Lansing, and he has an overall record of 50 and 28. 
So it is a real pleasure to have uh, the folks from East Lansing here and Michigan State Spartans. And I'd like to turn it over now and let's all just give a real big welcome to Coach Mark D'Antonio. Thank you very much on uh, behalf of Michigan State. Mark Hollis, our athletic director, is here. Just want to uh, thank you all for having us today. Uh, it's a great opportunity to be here. Uh, our players are extremely excited about the challenge that uh, TCU brings and all that uh, they will uh, be able to experience down here in uh, the land of sunshine. So very, very excited about this. And um, I'll take some questions, and we'll go from there. Thank you. Again, let us please get a microphone to you before you ask a question. If you raise your hand. Over here. Any new wrinkles okay. for the offense, Mark? I'm sorry? Any new wrinkles for this game in the offense? Well, I think where you're at in bowl game, you're always going to see some new, new different things offensively and defensively from everybody that you play or the things that you experience as a football team right now. But uh, uh, we'll have to let that play out as we get to the game, to, game day. Thank coach, you. to your left. Um, Richard, over the Arizona Republic, I just want to ask you, Coach, just – after two straight 11 win seasons and coming through six and six this year, what what do you try to tell you these guys getting ready for a bowl game like this? Well, we've had uh, we've had great chemistry on our football team. Uh, there's no question we uh, we didn't end up with the with the record that we thought we would, but we lost five games by a total of 13 points in that span. So uh, we tend to look at things as half, being half full uh, from a standpoint of of a coach, as long as our players get ready to play, play with great enthusiasm and toughness and attention to detail and uh, effort, uh, you know, from that perspective, we'll take whatever comes down the pipe for, for us. Uh, I'm extremely proud of our football team as we've met every single challenge and continue to play throughout, even when those challenges seem to, um, to stop us game to game. But, uh, you know, we're fine. We're good. Our players are expecting to win. We always do every time we come out. And uh, we've lost some very close games. So, some outstanding football teams. Right in front, Coach. Yeah. Coach, uh, Coach Patterson was in here earlier today, and he said he thought that the team with the best defense was going to win this game. Would you agree with that? Well, that usually has a little something to do with it. I think both teams have outstanding defenses. Uh, coach Patterson is known as the defensive-minded coach as well. And, uh, but I think at the, at the same time, it's going to be the football team that doesn't make the mistakes on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, if you don't turn the ball over, if you can stay balanced, if you can run the ball some, some and throw it effectively, um, that's all going to enter into it. And I also think that, you know, special teams uh, play a huge, huge uh, part in, in bowl games because of, uh, you know, the layoff being laid off for, for a month or so or three weeks or so um, all falls into place. You know, when you start preparing, you, got, you have to be on. You can't make mistakes. Second row. Mark, football teams are cr creatures of habit, and bowls often take them out of their routine. But this is a Monday through Saturday week for you. Is there any benefit to that? Uh, does that help hurt? No, we're really right on schedule. We gave our guys three days off. We'll come back today and uh, do a little something out, out at our practice facility today and then get right into a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, walkthroughs on Friday and play the game on Saturday. So it's, mu it's as much like a game week for us maybe as we could possibly make in a, in a bowl situation. But with that going on, there's a lot of things that they'll be excited to see that a lot of our players have not seen here before, you know, the mountains and the, and the sun, really, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, but uh, uh, but there's a lot of different things they're going to experience out here. So we want them to have a great time, but our focus will be on uh, on our challenge. Over here to the right. Is it me again? Oh, thanks, Coach. Uh, yeah, Coach Patterson was saying that they take this bowl game very seriously. They've won six out of the last seven. He says he spells fun, W-I-N. What's yeah. your mentality as far as coming here and letting the players experience these things against winning the ball game? Well, I think he's absolutely right. You know, when you win – you tend to have a better experience. Uh, when you walk away, you prepare, spend a lot of time trying to get ready for a football game. You want to win that football game. And I think it, it propels that football team into 2013 in this case. So, uh, you know, winning is, the, is, is at the forefront of what we want to do here. And that's been uh, emphasized quite often here as of late. You know, it's going to make or break us right now. You know, six, it's going to tell, make the difference between a winning team and a losing team right now. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have to be realistic about that and look at that aspect of it and deal with it. And I've always tried to just deal with the consequences, you know, with where we're at, and uh, that's where we're at. So our focus will be on winning the football game, and I would agree with him, W-I-N. Final question to the right. Mark, is there any uh, underclassmen or men from the scout team that you'll be uh, excited to see when you have some um, involvement in the game? Any plan? Uh, 